I want I want to just cut you off for a second because yeah. I want to I want to let the audience hear you, you're, you're hearing Colette say this. It's it's about having not only that intent but taking action on it. Colette, there's there's a yeah. lot of buzz about intent and, and just you know mm-hmm. how intent it, how important intention is, and it is absolutely vital. But sometimes for, people forget that there's action that must be taken because oh gosh. The, you know, it, it's, it's, it is really that kind of new age, uh, kind of sort of like uh, the emperor has no clothes, if you will. Right. <laughs> like, that you sit home and stare at a dream board and everything, yeah. and your intention is happening. to get rich and you don't go out and get a job. Hold right. I've never met anyone <laughs> who was overweight who didn't intend to be healthier. I never exactly. met anyone paycheck to paycheck who didn't intend to be wealthier, but you ha- your life now, has to reflect that. Intention is, yeah, intention is a funny buzzword because I think, but intention and clarity of intent is important that it, as long as it's followed up by action. So, and I think that's really key. And again, you, what you talk about in your show, you started the show all about action. And, and, you know, when people come to me for readings, for example, um, and most people don't come to me, by the way, for the traditional reading because they know about me by now. I've got a big wait, wait list. And so they know that I'm not going to talk to them about that their future is written in stone. I believe in empowering people to make good decisions for themselves and take appropriate action. Right? I it's it. not about the oh you'll be fine, go sit down. You know, what I mean? right. it's not how Keep it is. Keep doing what you're doing, you'll be fine. Yeah, I mean yeah. there is no. I mean we'll all be fine. Okay, the life's always going to happen. What's my future say? Well, tomorrow's coming. Okay, so that's <laughs> like, you know what I mean. But the thing is, is that you know we all need. I believe we we need some. I mean, we need to reflect on ourselves, but also to know that um, you know that that the action, even just tiny actions. Everybody wants big things, big Macs, big this, big. Right. You know right. what I mean? <laughs> right. And it's big actions, and then no, people are scared because it's too big, so they don't do anything. It's right, too they big. see the mountain. I can't. I'm, it, I'm it, exactly. It's way too big. Oh my God, I can't do that. It's too big. Right? Instead it, of like tiny little things. It, you know, I I said somebody something to someone once. Uh, they they uh, they came over to me and I I saw them in town, and they said, hey hey Steve, thanks a lot. And this wasn't a client of mine or anything. He said, thanks a lot. And I said, I, I'm not sure what you're thanking me for, but it's nice to meet you. He said, no no no. Um, I had I had come to you. Uh, I'd seen you at a store or something, and I told you that I had to lose uh, uh, 50 pounds. And you talked to me for about two minutes, and and all you said to me was, no, you don't have to lose 50 pounds. Erase that from your head. All you have to do is lose one pound, and then do that 50 times. And yeah, and when, when he was time. able to break it down, yeah, he said that really helped me. And I I forget sometimes that that's just being the way that I think is it, it breaks it down that way. That it does make it easier. I think that the 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 more you shrink, you said something that 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 hit me hard uh, earlier, where you're saying when when you want to uh, enhance your your um, your your spiritual knowing your or, or enhance your uh, yeah your sixth sense your intuition your, sixth your spiritual sense knowing it's all is, the same thing yeah you know it's about it's about letting go it's about releasing and I said this before but hearing you say it, that it really hits home is that Colette really when we talked about language you don't really grow spiritual you actually shrink spiritual you cut away you you, you <laughs> yes. refine you I, you simplify. Float. Well, you you know, it's funny because I always say that enlightenment is, is finding out how screwed up you really are. Really. <laughs> <laughs> and loving yourself anyway, you know what I mean, and making better choices because the more it's true, the more you, you open up to your uh, to that greater light, really, the light starts shining some of the darker crannies and, and you have to clean it out. And you do, you, you end up dumping, dumping the, the baggage, if you will. Uh, that um, and and yeah, it is about getting lighter, not just having light, right? But right. Um, yeah, oh, I think that's very, I think that's very true. We're going to take a quick break, or the engineers are going to go crazy. We've gone almost a half hour straight with no <laughs> with no break. We're only going to take one break. We're going to talk more about with Colette Baron Reed. She's she's here sharing her insights, her knowledge, and information about her new book, Messages from the Spirit: The Extraordinary Power of Oracles, Omens, and Signs. You're listening to Empowered Living, Life, the Truth, and Being Free. I'm your host, Steve Maraboli. Don't forget to check out our info at abettertoday.com, stevemaraboli.com, or empoweredlivingradio.com. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Byron Katie, and you're listening to Empowered Living with Steve Maraboli. Back. You're listening to Empowered Living, Life, the Truth, and Being Free. I'm your host, Steve Maraboli. As always, you're welcome to participate with the show. The screen name on AOL Instant Messenger is ABT Radio Show. That's one word, ABT Radio Show. 
Our screens go crazy, but we will get to as many as we can. We're having a great conversation with our with our guest, Colette Baron Reed. Her website is ColetteBaronReed.com. It's C O L E T T E B A R O N R E I D dot com. All tons of information on there. Her products. Uh, she's a singer. She does all kinds of stuff. Actually, she's a singer. She she tours. Uh, she she's on on tour. I think with Sylvia Brown. All her tour dates are on there. All her information's on there. I strongly suggest you check it out. She also has a radio show on Hay House Radio. It's on Thursdays at 2 o'clock Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, check out uh, Hay House. Uh, I think it's hayhouse.com for, for more information. I think she also has a link on her site for that. Again, we're speaking with Colette Barry reed She stands above the rest as far as intuitives go. Uh, she changes the way people understand the sixth sense. She shares her gifts while teaching others how to harness their own She's not preachy. I truly, truly think she's the real deal, and I'm honored to have her on the show. Clint, we're talking about your new book, Messages from the Spirit, The Extraordinary Power of Oracles, Omens, and Signs. The purpose of this book, is it to, to just give uh, someone sitting in a cubicle, someone sitting at home, someone who's, who's kind of just existing, not living, ready for something different, ready to break free from the, the prison of their conditioned thoughts, is this designed for them to pick this up and, and really propel them forward? Well, I mean, here's the thing. First of all, I wanted people to think about what was happening in their lives. I gave a lot of examples and stories about things that can really make you feel hope because you know you're not alone. Um, And uh, I also made the book interactive, too. So there's there's a a symbol guide because most of us have forgotten that spirit speaks to us through symbology. There's a symbolic language that we've lost since the advent of the written language, right? So, So I talk about how you know, different things that in the natural world, in our lives, that have, that have deeper meanings of what they mean to you. So, um, and I've also devised some oracle systems, and I've also taken some of the old oracle systems and made them modern, like Alluromancy, which is a divination by flower, which became our fortune cookie, which is a Greek <laughs> method. Yeah. Um, I basically show people how to bake their own oracle. So it's fun, too. I wanted people to ac- recognize that, Connect, having a, a conscious contact to their divine selves or to divinity or to spirit or whatever you want to call it, to the higher self, can be fun, can be very thought-provoking. And my job is not to tell people how exactly it is, but to, act, to invite them to experience it for themselves. Because there's no point in preaching at somebody. Right. Right? You know, it's like, this is the way it is. I mean, that would turn <laughs> me off. To, ugh, like, I hate that. As it, I mean, I, that's, I hate the strong word, but that does, does never get me anywhere. So it's it, it, really like, right. you know, inviting people. Here's what I know, and here's what I experienced, and here's how you can, too. And by the way, too, um, just to let people know, you, you mentioned the singing, and then you mentioned the tour. I don't sing on tour. <laughs> I'm a recording artist on the EMI music label, and it was my first love and my first profession, but my work as an intuitive took way over, and uh, so I kind of left that behind, so I'm not the singing psychic, <laughs> but um, that is another thing I do. But also, for your listeners, if they want this, we have a, it's not a commercial site at all. It, you know, on my members lounge, which you can join totally free, there are 13 free meditation downloads to help help you move past your own ego blocks to get in touch with your own intuition, because you have it too, right? And, and they can yeah. just have it. And they're great. I've, I've listened to them. I was sampling your stuff. It's really, really good. Thank you. It, 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 well, it's, that's, it's good stuff. That's where the music background, I guess, comes into, in, in, which is lucky for me because I, everything is original music and stuff because it's what I come from. So I just, again, like the more you and I uh, are, are helping people find, find their better path or f- empowering people, and, and that's what you do too. So uh, I think, you know, if we can just touch a few people. Yeah, and so the book is really about about that. It's about giving people a key. It gets, some of it gets very complicated. Um, some of it's, I did a ton of research on, uh, and using a, a little bit of humor on our religious histories and how okay. it kind of, <laughs> so that's, you know, so that's in there too. 